I've driven a lot of things. I've never driven anything like that. You know, this is the way to ride. Let me tell you, this is the way to ride. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're in Millstone, New Jersey to visit with John Spragato and check out some of his amazing cars. And let me tell you, he's got a few of them. John specializes in movie cars, TV cars, novelty cars, and he let me pick out a couple of my faves today, the Fireball 500 and the Red Baron. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's do this thing. John, great to see you, man. Great to see you again. <laughs> you know, you got quite a place here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you, we met, what, a couple years ago at, at Wild Hot Rod Weekend. Yes. At Man's Curve, guys. Yes. And you uh, were in the ballroom, and it, they just have such a great display in there. Oh. You know, all these unbelievable it's cars. It's amazing it, in there. It is amazing in there. And you had your dad's car. Yes. Which is the Mailman Special. Mailman right? Special. Mailman Special. Yep. That was the one that was in, what, 64 or 66? 64. 64 with the Beach with Boys. With the Beach Boys, on yes. On the Ed Sullivan on Show. On the Ed Sullivan that Show. That was just so cool. Yep, yep. <laughs> and then he said, well, I got a few other cars. <laughs> said, Do you? <laughs> yeah. And you, you, this is this is your thing, though, kind of TV movie cars, yes. right? Yes, yes. You have the most unbelievable collection of these things I have ever seen, man. Yes. And so this one, is the Fireball 500. Yes. This is a Barris car. Yes, it is. Which was made for th that movie, right? Fireball 500. Like uh, Annette Funicello, yes. uh, Fabian. Fabian, uh, Frankie Avalon. Frankie Avalon. Yes. I mean, it was, it was kind of the teen idols of the day, yeah. man. I mean, yeah, it was. it was. So this thing is crazy. It, it started life as a 66 Barracuda. Yes. So the fastback with the largest rear window ever made in a car. Right. That's gone. That's gone. Windshield is gone. Windshield Windshield's frame. gone. So Barris took this thing, uh, like what, from the factory basically? Uh, yeah, he took Chrysler, dropped it off at Barris Customs in 1966 with a dealer plate on it. And in two weeks, he turned it into the Fireball 500. Two weeks? Yes. So what all, what all did he do? Where did he, where did he start? I think they started with the front. Yeah. And um, <laughs> as you can see, they extended it. Because uh -huh. in the 60s, everything was about extending uh -huh. front and back. So is this fiberglass? It's steel. It is? Yeah. It's Man. all steel, the car. Holy cow. Then from there, obviously modified the hood. Is this the, st the original steel hood or is this a glass hood? It's original steel hood. The oh. hood was lengthened two inches. And you have your cutouts. But of course it gets crazy here. Yeah, it does. The windshield was taken <laughs> out. And they added the center section right here. And they hand formed all the glass with plexi. Wow. Yeah. In insane. But you know, I mean, really, that's still the Barracuda dash and everything, isn't it? Yeah, original Barracuda dash. Even has, seats. Uh, but when you put these up there? Yeah, it creates an optical illusion. It's, yeah, it's totally different. Totally. Oh, man. And then, of course, these, uh, you know, kind of flying buttress yes. uh, fairings or whatever. And is, yeah. this, is this all fiberglass? No, that's all steel. This is steel, too? Everything is steel. Holy cow. Yeah. You know, it also looks like original paint on it. Yeah, yeah it's all lacquer. Well, that's uh, why it looks so deep. Yeah, they, you can't replicate that today. Can't get lacquer today. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> then all this stuff is are, are Barris's custom touches. And, yes. Because I mean, you just go to a hardware store. You get yeah. ice cube trays. Yes. You get you know all sorts of lanterns. You know, all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah. Just oh, I'll work and he hack and chop a little bit and, and poof. So that's what it looks like he did here. He looks like he formed yeah. these. But this looks automotive. That looks like it's from something. Those are '66. Ford Galaxy rocker moldings. But then uh, running gear and everything, it's still the 66 Barracuda, right? Yes. Nothing nothing changed? No, it's got a commando motor in it. The, um, the, the 273? Yes. And the, the one it came with? The one it came with. Wow. Um, they have some, I guess, custom exhaust work to it because the car sounds great. Well, and you got the side pipes. And we, yes, with the side pipes. Let's go look at that commando. Yeah, sure. Oh, now, I didn't actually expect that. Those are complete dummies, huh? Yes, they are. <laughs> That's Barris too. That's, that's Hollywood. <laughs> that's Hollywood. Well, this looks really nice. It's very clean. I mean, everything's original, the radiator. So the, the fins on the valve covers, is that a Barris touch or? No, those are stock. Really? That's stock. Oh, yeah, that looks yeah. great. Has this ever been out? It's probably never been out. No, not that I know So that's of original all. paint on the block and original everything. Original paint. I, can't, I just can't believe this thing. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a time capsule, 1966 it is. Barris. And it runs. Oh, it runs great. 
got it. a nice little chop to it. Chop, chop, chop. What do you say we take it out? Let's go. Oh, this will be so much fun. Close that baby up. <laughs> This thing's a kick. That little uh, 273 engine just moves it around just fine. Oh, yeah. More than enough for this. Yeah, it definitely is. These aren't very heavy cars to begin with, and, no. and George got rid of one of the heaviest pieces, the back window. Yeah, yeah. And those intakes, uh, when you first opened up the hood and they came with the hood, I was like, oh, that's Paris. <laughs> that's Paris. You know, I honestly don't know how you do a transformation like this in two weeks. Right? It's amazing. Totally amazing. A lot of show cars don't even run. Yeah. This thing drives like a Barracuda. Yeah. It's ready for the racetrack. Ready for the racetrack. <laughs> you know, since it's a, a car that actually functions, I'm surprised it's only got 6,000 miles on it. That's it, 6,200 miles. And everything in it is is pretty much new. All the upholstery. I know. And you know, the, and the gauges aren't even like faded or anything. Needles yeah. are still crisp. Well, you really feel cozy in here too, don't you? Yeah. You're held in. You're strapped in. <laughs> it's like we're in an F uh, F1 fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels like that, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> man, oh man. down the movie car path, what was the first acquisition for you? Well, we, we would always get called, me and my dad, my dad had a Model A also, so he would always get phone calls to bring it down to different movie sets, uh -huh. to be in all different kinds of movies, and then um, I was fascinated with American Graffiti with the 32 Coupe, right? and I ended up building one, and that's how I met the guys from Dead Man's Curve. Ah, so that's the connection, huh? So I was at a car show and they were handing out a flyer for one of the cast members from American Graffiti. And I said, do you have a graffiti car there? And they said, no. I said, how about I bring it? <laughs> they said, oh, that would be great. Uh, and that was 15 years ago. And the rest, as they say, is history. It's history. <laughs> And then you just kind of, you know, you got the bug and you just kept collecting movie cars. Yeah, and then I kept going. Wow. And you just preserve them. You know, you get them back and they're missing pieces and you, you track down the pieces. It's fun and you put them back together the way they're supposed to be. Man. It's not just a car, it's an adventure. It's an adventure. <laughs> okay, so John, I was a kid back then. I remember this model. Yeah. Because that's what this was. It started first as it a model. It started first as a, a monogram, right? A monogram yes. model, the Red Baron. And then this actual car was created later off of the model. The model was so cool, we need to make this into a real deal. Yes. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> but Tom Daniel was the guy that, that had created this. And then it was built by... It was built by Chuck Miller. Right, right. We did some Riddler award-winning cars and all that. But to take on this project had to be kind of crazy. I think the wildest thing about this, again, this thing was made up to begin with. What are you going to put in it? Because the thing had only these pipes out the one side. Yeah. They went with the, the Pontiac single overhead cam six, which yes. is one of the weirder engines you'll ever see in a car. It, it's unique. It is very unique, but it's perfect for this. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and I love the way it says PMD. Pontiac Motor Division. On top of it. Now, you know, when you find one of these in a car, it's that Pontiac kind of aquamarine block color but they made a show version of this even originally, right? Yes. And, which looked exactly like exactly this. Exactly like that. Was that what the, the goal was, to make it 
Yes, to make it, you know, <laughs> share worthy and when it's at the car shows, it just, it's a stun. It's like jewelry. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I love the helmet over the carb. <laughs> it's just, it's just hilarious. The gun sight, which I guess was just kind of contrived, that was just yeah, custom yes. made, right? This way you could aim your machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and speaking of that, <laughs> It is dual mount, uh, what are these, 30 caliber, it looks like, maybe? Yes, yes, they are. Uh, and, 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 and they're all just custom made? All custom stuff. made. Custom made from hardware store material. What's uh, the crank? The cranks are Model A 1931 Model A handles my father <laughs> With, gave me. Like window handle? Window handles. <laughs> <laughs> A couple other cool touches. You know, I, I like the... Uh, the sword dipstick, yeah. engine dipstick, <laughs> and then what's this little bomb? That that's just a little antenna topper. I mean, it's just hilarious. Now, you know, of course, what you can't miss and what it's all about is this is the roof, the helmet. Yes. And in the model, that was chrome and it was really cool. Yeah. But I don't know how you do this. You mean you can't chrome this? It's wrap. Seriously. Yeah. It's wrap, and it's done beautifully the way it fits. And yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, I can't. That's somebody that really knows how to wrap. So what's it, is this fiberglass or what's it made out of? It's all fiberglass with steel reinforcements inside, so it can come off if you had to work on the car. Or... Uh -huh. And then in, in here, you know, it's the Hurst shifter, but I don't think I've ever seen one with that long a shaft. No, what this is, is there's a, a Hurst shifter behind it. Yeah. This was cut off. Right. And then a piece of steel was added and it looks like a one-piece house. It, it does, nice job. And of course, chrome grenade on the top. Yeah. I like that, the, the chrome spear between the two seats. Yeah, when I built the first uh, model as a little kid, that's that was the it was, interior. It was a, that was it, huh? Yeah. Boy, this thing is a faithful recreation, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And uh, just custom seats or? Custom seats with headrests inside. Doesn't look that easy to get into. Oh. Once you're in, there's plenty of room, though. Oh, yeah, once you're in, you're <laughs> in. <laughs> once you're in, you're in. In fact, you're probably not getting back out. <laughs> no. Discs in front, and it looks like uh, big uh, Buick, Buick fins in the back. Fins in the back. Is that a winner's quick change? Uh, not really. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's just the dummy. But the model had the, it. The model had it. It's got to have so it. So we got to have it. Holy cow. And you got your chrome shocks and your moon gas tank. And a transverse leaf back there. Yes. This thing is just, just insane. Yeah. When, you, when you take this to a show, yeah. I mean, kids have got to just, yeah. it's a magnet. It's a magnet. When I was little and my mother took me to the hobby store, this was the first oh. thing I seen and I had to have it. I had to have it. <laughs> <laughs> it goes down the road too, eh? Yeah, it runs, it's a runner. Let's go down the road. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs>
Is it the same engine, or did you find a different engine for it? No, we found a different engine. Believe it or not, we couldn't find it. It was so hard to find this motor. It had become an obsolete. Yeah. And it was a miracle. We were searching, and we found a gentleman right here in Jersey had one. Oh, my goodness. It was meant to be. <laughs> this thing is just hilarious. Hey, I'm Dennis Gage, flying the Red Baron. Happy motoring. <laughs>